your text of your account or just have an opening statement from you uh as well as the appointment or what you have to question. I'm I'm uh, obviously excited to be back in paradise uh, uh in uh in this tournament and we haven't been here in a while i think 2013 was uh, the last time we were here and and uh certainly excited to come back to a, not only be here uh in bahamas and in atlantis but also to to uh be with my team and playing in uh uh what is a very very strong competitive field and the field is even better than the rankings so it, it's going to be a a good three days that we'll learn a lot about our team. Obviously, you, this is your first game back. You've had a chance to be at, at practice mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I mean, how excited are you to um, take, take uh, the reins? Yeah. Well, first of all, it was great. It was great. Yeah, it was great for Norman. Norman did a great job. Uh, uh, guys rallied around him, and he did great. Of course, you knew he would. And, 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 uh, uh, but no, I, I didn't like it much. Uh, uh, the first two games were actually okay. The, the Duke and Southern Utah, uh, I didn't quite feel as comfortable watching from the living room as, as I did the first two, but, uh, but I, they, they, the guys did fine. And, and certainly we got a long ways to go to become a really good team. Uh, and sometimes I, I think, you know, me stepping away, at least in that that moment in time, may be a positive for us because maybe I can see it from a little bit different perspective. I know I saw it from a fan's perspective, and now I know why fans are crazy uh, uh, because they have absolutely no control on what's going on. At least as a coach, you think you got a little bit, even though you don't have much. And and uh, so uh, I, I liked it better when I had a little control. Bill, just to follow up on that, how, kind of how did you work with watching the game, taking notes, then coming to practice and implementing what you saw from afar? I mean, just kind of an unusual yeah. way to work. I, 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 I didn't actually take one note. Uh, I took all my notes when I watched the replay. Uh, I was, you know, too busy, you know, get him out or, 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 or uh, what are we doing uh, 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 type uh, during the actual game. So, uh, but I, I, I uh, it was different, but, uh, you know, I, I think it's something that, you know, our, that's one thing about our guys, at least, you know, we, we say it all the time, you know, faces change, expectations do not, and, you know, we had a different coach and he did great and expectations still the same. So it, it was still kind of business as usual. I want to ask you about transfers in the transfer portal era. Um, yeah, obviously you got one in McCuller that is playing a pretty prominent role for you. These early tournaments have always been important for teams to kind of figure out against top tough competition, who they are, their rotations, all those things. Are these tournaments more crucial or valuable in the sense that everybody's dealing with so much roster of people with turn with transfers and it's a good opportunity? Yeah, I, I think so. You know, it's like we we lost uh uh you know, we basically played seven guys in the championship game, basically. And uh you know, five of them aren't with us anymore. So we we we've got we've got quite a bit of turnover ourselves. Even though most of our turnover wasn't through the portal, it was through incoming freshmen. But whether it be transfers or incoming freshmen, I I I think that a lot of people get a false sense that you can actually become a team a heck of a lot earlier in the season than you actually can. Uh, there's not one team here yet. Uh, Everybody will become a team at some point in time this season, but it usually doesn't happen in early November. Uh, we didn't become a team last year until February. Uh, and so uh, now we may have won some games up until then, but to become a really a real team with your, you know your identity, you know exactly how you're going to play, where roles are defined and things like that. And so tournaments like this, I think, are great. It's a chance to bring your team, uh, uh, be together and become closer. And also a chance to, you know, be, you know, from a non, uh, uh, um, from a from a non-critical way, to self-evaluate and know exactly where you're at on what you have to work on to. Bill, um, two questions. Jalen's off to a great start, yeah. obviously. I wanted to ask about Green Tech. I mean, he's a local, semi-local kid from in-state. I mean, 
did, when did you know about him? I mean, you know, obviously Sunrise is a nice program, but. Oh, we, we recruited Grady a couple of years before he ever went to Sunrise. Wow. So, so he was at Collegiate and, and uh, there in Wichita. And so, yeah, I went to watch him play at Collegiate and Norm did as well. And so when he made the move the last two years to go to Sunrise, uh, uh, you know, we, that was a, we, we were already uh, uh, knee deep in, in recruiting him. So uh, yeah, but he's a, he's a terrific prospect. He, you know, people say he's a great shooter. He is a great shooter, but he's a, also a player too. He's got some game and, and, uh, uh, but I, I I don't believe I've had a better freshman shooter ever than wow. than, than and than than what he is. Uh, he's high release, hard to block, quick release, and and uh, you know he also doesn't remember his misses, which is very important for a shooter. Uh, and Jalen Wilson and Jay Jay Wills, you know we I've had some you know Ochai got off to a great start last year, which be, he became an All American. Uh, Thomas Robinson got off to a great start and he became an all American out of left field. Uh, uh, Frank Mason got off to a great start in champions classic. He became the national player a year out of left field. Uh, Jalen's kind of in that mold. I mean, he's put himself in the conversation to be one of the best players in the country right now. And, you know, as he's averaging 24 and a half, nine and four and a half, which I don't know if anybody in America can boast those numbers this early, but, it's also early and it's also different competition and things have a way leveling out, but, but he's, he's, uh, he's been great for us. We'll take a questions on Zoom. Hey coach, it's a Shay. Listen, I'm just wondering, um, having watched the team from afar um, during game day, did you learn anything about them that you might not have, um, you know, being there on game day and, and real quick too on injuries, how are guys like Cam and Zach doing along? How are you guys health wise coming into this event? Uh, I'd say we have everybody here, uh, except for, yeah, Charlie will be here today, but we have everybody here. Zach is, uh, he practiced today uh, full go for the first time since he got hit. So uh, uh, now his, he, he, he should be available, but whether or not he'll play or not, I don't know. MJ, uh, uh, you know, he got, we played on uh, Friday. He got a uh, kidney stones, uh, Saturday night or whatever. So he, he, uh, uh, he practiced today for the first time since he played Friday and only practiced on Thursday because he had COVID from the time before. So we're sick. So, so, so yeah, so those guys are available. Cam's not, Cam's still coming back from a separated shoulder. So those guys are available, but, uh, I don't know how much we'll be able to use them, uh, this week. Bill, what do you think of NC State's threes? Their three-point uh, ability. Well, I think well they're going to shoot a ton of them. Uh, I don't know how many they're averaging. I should know that they're averaging like thirty-five attempts a game uh, in their first games, and and uh, uh, you know they're two they're two guards, uh, or probably be as explosive a guards as we could possibly go against this year. Uh, uh, Texas is the only team in our league that I've seen so far that has explosiveness in the backcourt like NC State, and uh, uh, but 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 the, but those, those two uh, and and Joiner's been a great asset, at, you know, in the, from the transfer portal that you alluded to. Uh, he's terrific, and 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 the other guy can score from anywhere on the floor, uh, and they got good players around them. But 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 those two are different. Uh, that those will be as good a scoring guards that we'll play against this year. Bill, do the guys get to enjoy the resort or will that be right after the tournament or at all? Well, they can, yeah, they, they can have some fun today. Uh, we hadn't really talked about it, but, uh, but they can have some fun today, but after today, they won't until Friday, until uh, after the game on Friday. And then we'll have a little bit of time on Saturday. So that, that's the way it is in all these tournaments. Uh, there's nothing wrong with going down to the beach and walking around even on a game day or after the game. I mean, well, they'll, they'll do that, but to actually cut loose and enjoy it the way that that what people would probably equate to having fun, that'll probably be today or, or after we finish playing. Coach, thank you. Good luck. Okay, thank you. Jim, how you been, man? Good. Good. How are you? Good.